Coming up, we're going to tell you about our new home here at ATVs and more. We're going to look, uh, take a look at some action from the Red Lens Qualifier, and we're also going to look at some big passes and crashes. Welcome back to the Midwest Tour. I'm Brittany Newman. And I'm Tom Bradley. And Tom, we have a brand new home for the show this year. Yes, we do. We're here at ATVs and More, Salem, Illinois. We have a 40,000 square foot home. I don't know if you guys know how big that is, but it's pretty huge inside here. They've got side-by-sides. These guys just ride around in here to get stuff from front to back. They gotta, they gotta take a bike and get like second gear in the store. So it's very big in here. They've got anything you need for riding off-road, uh, motocross, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, anything you want, they've got it here. And if they don't, they can order it online. So uh, come check out ATVs more here in Salem, Illinois. As far as our race highlight show goes, Tom, it should be noted that we are independent from MXPTV.com this year, but you can still find all of our videos there. That's right. We'll be linking to other sites as well. But if you can't find us on those sites, just revert back to MXPTV and we'll be there for sure. And it's going to be a great year, really covering a lot of big races. Like this weekend, we were at Ducoin, Illinois for the Loretta, Loretta Lynn qualifier that they had. Yes, we were. We were also going to be hitting another Loretta's qualifier as well as some regionals too on our way down to Loretta Lens, and we'll be doing a daily show from there uh, the first week in August. That's right. We will give you all those um, information as we go along, but we're going to roll right into the highlights now. And this week we were getting coverage from Paradise Motor Park in Ducoin, Illinois. And normally in Illinois around springtime, sometimes we tend to get mud, and that's happened the last few years to Paradise. Yeah, the race has actually been known for that in the past, but this weekend Mother Nature totally cooperated. Track conditions were awesome. I think the riders had a great track and made for great racing. We also talked to uh, Doug from Paradise Motor Park. Let's uh, hear what he had to say. Definitely blessed this year with nice weather. Um, it's always uh, on the fence of which way to go, whether to water or water around here but I chose the water regardless if we were going to get rain and looked like it made the right choice. So. And Tom jumping right into these highlights we have plus 25. Yeah jumping out to the early lead the 38 of Brent Duffy. He's got a challenge there from the 253 of Hale on the outside but Brent getting to the inside able to maintain. And you also have 814 there of Andrew Buckles and keep an eye on him in this moto because he's really going to put on a charge. Yeah as you can see on the first lap already Buckles trying to work his way in the second. He's able to get to the inside here and take over that number two spot. A lot of good lines here at Paradise. You can see at the bottom of this hill here all the different lines. They had plenty of options out there on this track. The uh, moisture in the track just made for some really great uh, lines for them. And here up. we have a battle for third. That's uh, the 167 actually, Jake Lustig, he's working his way up through the pack and actually uh, trying to go around the outside of Hale right there who made a mistake, but it, uh, Hale still able to maintain that spot. And Wes Lawrence coming into the picture, taking one of those op outside option that sections, which you would think would maybe take a little bit longer, but he was going to move right into the picture there. Yeah, he moved to the outside and he's able to slingshot down off that hill and keep up the momentum, so he's still right on these guys as they head into the back section. Here you can see Lustig working that inside line, trying to take over that spot from Hale. Plus 30 BC was definitely a motor to watch too. Again, we got Nathan Hale out here, the 253 on the Kawasaki, and right behind him is a 978, that's Chris Obliger. And he's out of Ohio, so he had to drive to get here. Oh, here we got uh, Chris out front now. He's gotten around the 253 of Hale. And uh, he's got just a small gap, a little bit of breathing room, but Hale's right there should he make a mistake. Suzuki taking the inside there and the Cali moving up. Here we're picking up action from the 450B mod class. Uh, this is actually a three-way battle for fifth. We've got the 32 of Brock Gorley, the 55 of Drake Sizemore, and then the 796 of Jordan Green. These guys are going at it hard here in this Paradise Motor Park. Here you have Gorley there. You have Green still behind him. One of my favorite riders to watch is Drake Sizemore. These guys are just so fast. You can see the different options on the track here. At the outside, the inside lines, it all works out even, even though it looks like the outside is uh, quite a bit further away. But, uh, you know, you can't can't pass the guy if you follow him, so you got to try something new. And basically, you have three of them going to a corner almost all at once, making the racing very exciting. Uh, here's a look at the last lap of that 450B class. We actually had a change for the lead. We've got the 286 out front. That's uh, Kyle Durham, and he's being challenged here by Judson Wisdom. Wisdom trying to make a move around the outside. Durham holding the inside. He's still got the spot as they head to the bottom of the hill, but right here you can see Wisdom just dip inside, and he's going to uh, pull him out of the corner and he takes over the spot heading into the back. You can make a lot of passes at Paradise if you hang tight on that hill. Mm -hmm. 
and Tom here's the 85 Mod 12-14 Mason Kershaw there and Justin Poulter. These guys had a great race out there on this track. Uh, as you can see, Poulter uh, going to the outside there, trying to make up time, looking for a way around uh, Kershaw there. Not able to get the job done in that section, but as they head through the finish line section, you can see Poulter's out front and Kershaw's dropping a little ways back. So Poulter just a little bit quicker, I think, in the corners in the tighter sections. How cool is it they're busting out that big triple? Bink Lewis out in front doing his thing. And Tom, watch it when he goes into this corner. I was really impressed with him. He's doing everything correctly through a corner. He had perfect position through that corner. He's got his leg up because that rut is so deep. It mm -hmm. just looks like a pro. Looking forward. Here we're taking a look at footage from my favorite moto of the day, the two-stroke class. As you can see here, we got out front, that's uh, Durham leading the way. He's got Justin Easton behind him in second, and third is Josh Hicks on the 922. And these guys are just having a great battle on these two strokes. Yeah, Josh Hicks and Justin Easton, they have a very natural riding style. They've raced forever, and they're fun to watch, and they're going at it right now. All these guys out here on Yamaha 250s, and these things are just beautiful to get ran around the track. As you can see there, Justin Easton taking over the lead. We've got a, looks like a four-way battle here for the number two spot. And coming up over this next jump, you're going to see Durham make a slight mistake there. Steve come off the pegs, and that allows Jordan Green to get to the inside and take over that number two guy. And here we have Tyler Eldridge, no one on the charge. Yeah, Durham started out in the front, but now he's uh, been seeing pressure from several guys, and he's just moving back. There you can see Eldridge was able to get around, running the pink mohawk. That's stylish. 